Today on In the Woodyard, I got a splitter, I got rounds, and I got a goofy hat on. Let's do some splitting. It's gonna be a warm one today. A scorcher, as they say out east. I've got a bunch of rounds here, and I got a little bit of shade left. The sun is up already. It's already about, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Getting a late start because I had a bunch of stuff I had to get done this morning. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split the rest of this cherry. There's a little bit of uh, maple right here, but I'm just gonna chuck it over there because I want it to be stacked over in that area. So I want to get this done, and then if I get that done I got time, we're going to head over there to where I cut yesterday on the box elder, the tree service wood. And that's full sun right now, so I figured I'd take advantage of a little bit of shade while I have it here, because it's pretty warm already and it's supposed to get another 10 degrees warm. We're supposed to get close to 90 again. So, splitting, that's what's happening. We're going to take this stuff, chuck it over that direction, because I'm I suppose as close as I can get the splitter right now. I got it wheeled right into the pile here. So after I get this going, I'll pull it over a little bit and then it'll just fall off that way because I want it to be stacked right over in there. And I'm gonna get all this stuff stacked eventually. Probably tomorrow I'll start on that. So that's what's happening. Let's get cutting or splitting.
So there it is. The cherry is finally split. This is the stuff I had cut. This was maple I threw over here, threw the cookies over here, and I discovered that it is time to replace my O-ring on this collar right here, because it's leaking really quite a bit. showed you a little clip there just a second ago you can see down here in the grass it's it's leaking quite a bit it's not just a drip once in a while it's actual little stream once in a while so and from what I can see it's not going to get better so I did put some more uh, hydraulic fluid you can see it's full I, I put two gallons in the other day so um, I got plenty in there yet it's pretty much full except for what just leaked out. But it'll continue to do that, so I am not gonna split any more wood. I'm gonna go get my tools and I'm gonna take this thing apart, get the O-ring off and go see if I can find one. Uh, there is a shop that's a, a implement place. They do uh, hydraulics on tractors and stuff. It's a tractor store, basically. I'm gonna go see if they've got an O-ring this size because all the hardware stores did not have the size that I need. So gonna have to look and see if I can find one if I can't I'll have to order one so no splitting for a while so that's what I'm gonna go do now we're gonna go see if I can do some repairs all right here we go again I yes I still do not have a uh, spinner wrench all I've got is this chain clamp but it's working I'm gonna get one one of these days the problem is is that I went to several places and nobody had any but Seems to be working okay. Once you get it to the right size and just kind of slide it gently, it actually works pretty good. So I'll get this off, and then I'll have to take off my push plate where it's attached to the rod, and then slide the O-ring off, or I could just snap it off. I suppose I can just get it off, but then to get it back on, I still gotta be able to slide it on this end, so. getting a little bit easier. I might be able to turn up my hand now. Yep. Oh yeah, the O-ring's chewed up. I can see marks on it there. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Wow, that thing's really threaded in there a long ways. Let's see what the temperature says. It says hydraulic fluid is 130 degrees take it off and just let this thing cool off and come back and then take it apart that's probably the smart move but i'm not too smart i'm gonna go a little farther and see what happens if i can just see where it starts to leak a little bit yeah it's got a little leak coming there now must be close to the end now it's pouring out Now it's really pouring out. If you guys can see that. Oh yeah, it's pouring out down there quite a bit. I'll just let it run out. I imagine the cylinder is full of fluid, so I'll have to create another EPA Superfund site here, I guess. This is a vented cap, so and there's, it's not running, so the pump's not pumping more fluid in, so it's just what's going to be in the Hydraulic. Should be catching that and dumping her right back in, shouldn't I? Here we go. Now she's slowing down. It wasn't so much, it wasn't even a cup. There we go, she's out. Oh, it's two O-rings. Oh, that one's all chewed up too. Oh, good thing I took that off. So yeah, I'll have to... Yeah, you can see here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. There's big chunks out of it there. There and there. Turn it around here. Big chunk there. There's a chunk of stuff hanging there. Chunk there. So... 
Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll take off the push plate, slide this whole thing off. I'll just take this whole thing right in with me. And uh, that way I can put them on, slide it back on. That'll work pretty good. Success, there she is. So here, you guys can see how close the chunks are out there. I'll turn the camera into the sun a little. So there you can see all kinds of chunks out of there, all the way around actually. <clears throat> this is like a, a ribbed O-ring. It's got a double, double high point on it. It's like it's ribbed. So off to the store we go. I have returned, I have. Good news, bad news, and good news. The good news is I think I got a solution. The bad news is, is it's not the same O-ring. So what he gave me, and I'll show you here if I can get these out in my finger just the right way. This is the one that we took off. You see the one that's all chewed up. He said this is a special kind and they don't stock these. But he said he's replaced this before by doing this. He said you take this thicker O-ring, and he's got a flat O-ring, and you put them so that they are against each other like this. So basically you're stacking them, and he said it works. He said it should work for this. He's done it before for other units like this, and uh, he said shouldn't be a problem. He wasn't, didn't seem too concerned about it. So, and then I got the other small one too. So there we go, I got a solution. The other good news is, is I said, what about you? He says, bring me a bigger job. So he just gave them to me, so awesome. The name of the place is Appleton Hydraulics, so good guy, first time I've been there. So I'll be going back, that's the kind of service I like. Um, it's one of those things that uh, I will remember and that's what kind of stuff that you should do too, I should do for customers. You know, don't be afraid to give some stuff away once in a while, like kindling and stuff I give away once in a while. Sometimes I have people, I grab an armful of a different kind of wood they haven't tried before and say, hey, give this a try. So that's a good thing. So now let's put it back together. There it is. I got the uh, big old ring on, uh, the round one here, and then the flat ones on the outside, because that's how he said to do it. And uh, fit really fi fine. It's got a nice, feels good all the way around. It's tight. And uh, it's a double ridge, so it's like the old one, because the old one, if I can grab it here, you can see it has that ridge on it, so this is actually just a hair wider. As long as it's making contact on the outside, it should be good. So I'm going to put it on now and give her a try. Okay, I just cleaned off the uh, sil the uh, rod here, cleaned the inside off, so I'm going to have to tap that on. Put a little tap here. Yep, I need a bigger one. Just got to give it just to get past where the hole is. There she goes. No, oh, it's tight. There we go. All right. I should be able to just slide it in. I think I want to get something. I put this in. Well, that plate is loose, I better tighten that up too. For now, I'm just gonna set this here. Slide this back in place. That's about all I can do. So now we gotta get the big... And nobody had, I also asked if anybody had any uh, spanner wrenches, they didn't have any. So I'm gonna have to just order one. So that's just the way it is. But for now, I'll make this work somehow here. So once I get it on, it actually works. I get the right size. I should have Kenny here with another set of hands. He'd be able to do this. There we go. 
gotta take a little bite at a time. It's going in slowly, getting about a eighth of a turn each time. And it's a pretty deep thread. There it is. No leakage. I just ran it for a couple minutes. I ran a few pieces through it. I turned the camera on, but the, my battery died and I didn't know it because the machine was running, so I didn't hear it beep. But it did work and it is not leaking. No leakage at all because I wiped it off here and there's no new stuff. I got it nice and tight. So put in the double uh, O-ring on worked. And I also left the other O-ring on the front because he said, there's nothing wrong with that one. I only had a couple little nicks in it. So he gave me a smaller one to put in front of that. So now there's two O-rings in the front here, a real thin one, and then the, the old one. And he said, they do that all the time, double up O-rings. If they're real thin, he said, it usually works. Anything big like this, little tiny O-rings, he said, then you can't do it. But bigger ones, it's not a problem. And he said, that little bit of extra in there, he squished it down nice and tight, and he said, it'd be just fine. So that's what I did, and it's working good. There's no leakage there, so she is cured. Unfortunately, I'm out of time for today. That's all I've got. Tomorrow I'll be back in the wood yard and we're gonna go back over there and we're gonna split that wood. So come on back. That'll be the real test. We'll find out what happens tomorrow. See you then, 5.30 a.m. If you can't wait that long, go to my channel. There's over 800 videos for you to watch right now. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.